Hey, there you are. I've been waiting for you. Can I get you something like a watch? Where have you been? We've got a lot to do. We've got to put this motorcycle on this trailer, put this trailer on this RV, pack this RV, get in this RV, and drive this RV to California. We're going to track weekend. Let's go. You coming? Yes, business, business. Hey, there you are. I've been waiting for you. Hold on, I gotta finish this. Business, business. Buy low, sell high. Business. Okay, thanks. Sorry, I had to take that. It was a business call. Hey, listen, if you uh, saw my first video and judging from the tens of subscribers I received, you did. Thank you. If you didn't see it, it's right there. You know that on my trip down to Thunder Hill, my bike got pounded with rain, sleet, snow, hail, road debris. I got down there. That thing looked like it had been buried in the ground for a month. I can't do that to that motorcycle. So we've got to get an enclosed cargo trailer. You know what that means? We're going S-H-O-P-P-I-N-G. We're shopping. <laughs> I'm going to get changed and we'll go. Hold on. I'm changed. Let's go. Hey, there you are. Hey, hey, I've been waiting for you. Listen, could you do me a favor and just uh, just open that door for me? There's no handle in here. Could you just open it up? Oh, perfect, 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 great, 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 good, good, good. Hey, hi. Hey, you wouldn't happen to have like a, a paper clip or a bobby pin, something like that, would you? I, you have a handcuff key? Why do you have a handcuff key? I don't care. Just give it to me. Here, I'll take it. Take it. Okay, great, 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 great. Uh, okay, great. This is going to be perfect. <laughs> We are going to have such a great time this episode, but we really got to get going, like, immediately. So, come on, let's go. Hey, there you are. I've been waiting for you. Hey, we're going to have such a great time this episode. We're starting out in Northern California, Thunder Hill Raceway Park. If you remember, we went there earlier this season. If you didn't see it, you can watch that episode right here. Then we're going to end up at the Francis Ford Coppola Winery, and then we're going to go to Oregon Raceway Park in Oregon, Grass Valley, Oregon. Where are you going? All right, fine. I'll just meet you there. Jeez. What? Did you just get here? I don't believe it. I, I, you missed the whole thing. I'm home. Look, I parked the RV already. I'm done. I told you we were leaving early Friday morning. You, you weren't here. I didn't think you wanted to go, so I left. I can't believe you missed it. I can't believe you missed it. Ah, we had such a fun time, too. We went to Union Gap, Washington, this really cool tamale place that won the James Beard Award this year. We went across the Columbia River. We stopped in Wasco, Oregon. We went to Oregon Raceway Park. It rained again, but then it was this beautiful sunsets and sunrises. Had this great day of riding. I did this cool thing with Keep Your Daydream. We did an interview with a writer named Cam, cool guy. You missed all of it. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Well, I taped it, so I guess I could show it to you. Anyway, we watch the RV. You got to go take this stuff inside. Can't believe you missed it. Summer in Seattle, Washington. Yesterday it was sunny and 80 degrees. Today it's overcast, cold, cloudy, and about to rain. Thunderbolts and lightning. Very, very frightening me. If you automatically knew the next line of that song, I want to hang out with you. You know, I get a lot of emails and comments from people asking me how I take care of my bike, how I get it ready for the track weekend, what kind of tires I'm running on it. You know, I thought it would be great to put together the top five things that you have to do to get ready for a track weekend on your motorcycle. It's a great episode. Come on, let's go inside. Hey, there you are. I've been waiting for you. Hey, listen, I wanted to talk to you. Why don't you come on and get in the RV? Come on. Come on up. I want to talk to you. Look, I got some candy. You want some candy? Get in the RV. That sounded terrible. I can't believe I just said that. Oh, my gosh. Oh, just, you don't, you can just get in the RV and you can have some candy if you want it. I can't, I'm going to shut up. I can't believe I said that. Hey, there you are. I've been waiting for you. What, what are you doing in here? You can't be in here. I got to put all the camera equipment in here. We're uh, taking a motorcycle trip to British Columbia. You know, this is actually a pretty cool shot. You look like they're uh, in the trunk of a Tarantino movie. <laughs> hey, hold on. Hey, you fucker. You ready to take a fucking motorcycle trip to fucking Canada? Yeah. We're Americans on holiday, so let's just take the basics. We're going to need this. And we're also probably going to need one of these. And uh, we would be remiss to not take this stuff. All right. Let's fucking go. Hey, there you are. We've been waiting for you. <laughs> you were late, so we started without you. You guys having a good time? All right, let's get this started in three, two, one. Let's go! 
Hey, there you are. I've been waiting for you. I got your helmet. Come on, we're going to be late. We got to go to that thing. The recreational vehicle, or RV, the name alone evokes a sense of adventure, exploration, and the open highway. I know what you've been saying, Rodney, what kind of RV are you driving? Well, I drive a Winnebago VU 24J, and I love it. I know what else you're saying, Rodney, aren't you afraid? Isn't an RV dangerous? <laughs> In fact, won't you join me as I take you on a brief tour of my beautiful Winnebago View 24J, and I'll show you how fun and safe an RV can be. Come on, let's go.